Yesterday we got the trailer for the new Legend Ulta, but it leaves us with more questions than answers. So today I'm going to break down the truth about the new Legend Ulta from breaking down her name, her possible connection to Wraith, and why she's chasing down Horizon, which will lead her to the Apex Games. So first, let's start off with what we know based on the trailer. Basically, Ulta has the ability to dimensional travel. Just like Wraith can enter the void, it's the exact same kind of ability that Ulta has. But one key takeaway from the trailer is that Ulta doesn't tell the truth about her origin. All the stories that she makes up in the trailer are all false, from her having dead parents to pretending to be the old ways bloodhound. Instead, she's just mocking a lot of the Apex legends, because we know Loba lost her parents, and she's pretty much just poking fun at that. But at the end of the trailer, it's revealed that Alter is standing in this corrupted, destroyed dimension. We can see the monument from World's Edge, so it's some dimension where she's standing on World's Edge, and it's completely destroyed. You can see lightning crashing into the buildings, there's stuff flying everywhere, it's terrible, it looks like a world ending disaster. And it's revealed that Ulta is looking for Horizon, she's holding a picture of Horizon and Newt and she's going after him. And she finishes by saying, I'm the one who's there at the end, or am I? Take a listen. I'm the one who's there at the end, or am I? <laughs> So here's the reason Ulta is actually looking for Horizon. It's all revealed on the Apex website. Here you can see the legend screen for Ulta, where we get a pretty nice description of her story. And it says here, Ulta was drawn to worlds on the edge of complete destruction, whether something devastating was already happening or she helped Usher in the apocalypse herself. She was there to watch whatever catastrophe ensued. It was only in those moments, after all, that people took off the masks they always wore and she could see their true self. Finding these world-ending events was a toss. Up. Sometimes she'd find what she was looking for, and others she'd have missed the main event in worlds already ruined. But in some of these ruined worlds, Alter began to notice an interesting commonality. Many of these worlds hadn't met their end by some random event. They had been destroyed by the same person. So she's obviously referring to Horizon there. So what does all this mean? Basically, Alter enjoys traveling to different dimensions and experiencing catastrophic world-ending events. It's giving me MCU vibes. It's like she works for the TVA. But they're clearly alluding to the fact that Horizon somehow is causing all of these worlds to be destroyed in other dimensions. And how is that possible? The Horizon we know is a kind, loving mother who really just wants to see her son again. Well, we know that she's about to mess with time travel. She has Anderson's time gauntlet, and we all know she plans to use it to go back and see her son again. But I think we all know by now from plenty of sci-fi movies that when you mess with time travel, you unearth a whole lot of possibilities, not all positive. So it seems in a lot of other dimensions that Ulta has visited, Horizon has successfully time travelled and whatever happens with that results in these world ending events. Who knows, maybe she goes back and saves Newt every time, but Newt ends up becoming a villain who ends up destroying the world. Or maybe just the fact that she time travels creates some kind of paradoxes and that ends up in world ending events. So there you go, that's why Ulta is coming to the Apex Games. She's looking for Horizon because we know Horizon time traveling ends up creating catastrophic events in all these other dimensions. But why is Alta actually trying to see Horizon? Alta doesn't seem like the type of person who would want to prevent these worlds from ending. So maybe she wants to help Horizon because she just wants to witness our current dimension end up in turmoil, just like all the previous ones. Or maybe Horizon destroyed Alta's own dimension. That part we don't really know. But that tells us what Alta is doing in our dimension. But I believe there's a lot more to Alta than meets the eye, and here's why. Starting off, on the website you can actually see her real name and all the other information is unknown. But her real name, Lei Yingling, ends up translating to something similar to full of spirit or complete in spirit, with Ling meaning spirit. And if you actually look at the Chinese name for Wraith in Apex Legends, her name would be Er Ling, which means evil spirit. Now it makes sense that Apex would choose these names, of course, both Wraith and Altar, I guess are similar to spirits or ghosts in the fact that they can travel through the void and travel to other dimensions. But that's just the beginning because Ulta perfectly fits the description of Subject Zero. If we take a look at the gameplay of Ulta and match it to the description of Subject Zero that we got in the Season 13 story chapters, you'll see what I mean. And they also hint to this in her trailer. So if you didn't know, Subject Zero is a test subject of Wraith before she became Wraith when she was Dr. Blacey and worked for the Ares Division in the IMC. Now Subject Zero has a brief interaction with Wraith in the Season 13 story where she was described to have a gauntlet on her left 
wrist and a burn scar on her left shoulder going down her arm into her gauntlet. She was also said to have wide and haunted eyes. Now let's take a look at the gameplay of Ulta. She has a gauntlet on her left wrist and if you take a look you can see a scar on her left arm going into her gauntlet. Now of course this scar could just be any old scar from whatever life she's lived but I just don't think this is a coincidence. And we saw her eyes plenty of times in the trailer and in the gameplay. They are definitely very haunting eyes. They glow white just like Wraith and not to mention the fact that she has the ability to interdimensional travel through the void just like Wraith and that kind of tech doesn't come easy. But if you needed more convincing in Ulta's trailer when she's referencing Shaolin Soccer you can see all of the enemy soccer players are Wraith clones. They all look like Wraith. You can see their hair in a bun and they're all copies and they are all referencing Wraith. Now why would Ulta be thinking specifically about Wraith in the trailer? Maybe it was just some creative freedom from the animators and they decided to go with it or maybe Ulta is really thinking about Wraith in the back of her mind. And also in another scene you can see her getting dragged away by an Ares Division soldier. That's right, this logo right here is the Ares Division logo, the ones who created Wraith and the ones who would have created Subject Zero. So it seems like even though Ulta is telling fake stories, a glimpse of truth is seeping into these stories. I mean if I had the trauma of being an interdimensional test subject, I think I'd do the same, so I don't blame her. So what do you think? Is Ulta Subject Zero? Because there's even more evidence to suggest this. As we go into Season 21, the season is titled Upheaval, but the code name for Season 21 that was in the game files was actually Void. And in the Season 21 Battle Pass, it will feature a bunch of skins in a similar style to the Void Walker Wraith skin, but instead they'll have a corrupted look to them with black goo all over them. This is the Catalyst skin that's in the Season 21 Battle Pass, and as you can see, it's all Void Walker themed. Now, why would Season 21, that has the new legend Ulta, have a Void Walker theme to the Battle Pass? I mean, everything we've said already pretty much tells us it would make sense if Ulta really is Subject Zero, as she has a huge connection then to Wraith and the Void Walker. So that's why I think Ulta really is Subject Zero, and I think this lore will be developed over a few seasons. I don't think they're going to point this out as Season 21 starts. It seems like they're going to focus on the Horizon story, obviously with Horizon time traveling, and ultimately destroying other worlds in other dimensions. That'll be the major storyline for Season 21. And of course, the Legends will probably need to address the fact that Ulta literally destroyed Broken Moon. Because if you look at the map update for Broken Moon coming in Season 21, you can see Promenade is gone as a result of Ulta sending the Olympus into the net satellite which was keeping up all of the space debris. So now Promenade is gone and there's a whole new quarantine zone, so she probably also has to answer for that. But anyway, what do you think of my theory of Ulta being Subject Zero, along with finding out that she loves to just enjoy watching worlds get destroyed? Let me know your thoughts and you don't think I'm crazy, right?